Now, how's it doing? So as we know, uh, we basically are hold hostage in our own country. Um, with, you know, Christmas, obviously the government have not clarified along with an effort. They haven't clarified if people be allowed to go to people's houses, if people be allowed to go to shops, but businesses, we open pubs, um, rest, you know, restaurants, would they be able to open for Christmas? At least for a month. Um, because we all know the government have already, you know, basically just hit a few pubs very hard. Um, because they are going to bring in this legislation to stop takeaway pipes from being sold um, in pubs. And that's going to hit the pubs again. That's going to be another black and knockout blow to some pubs. Um, and the, and, you know, because again, the government are kind of holding this in front of us. I suppose, uh, let me just example, you know, basically just kind of intensing us to Christmas. Oh, we're going to take away Christmas if you don't do this, don't do that, do the other. Um, and again... Your know, clarity. Again, that's not doing any good to anybody. Worrying, saying, oh, is there going to be Christmas? Is the family going to be around the table this year? Um, you know, I guess, again, parents would be taken for that. Parents would be like, I want my son and daughter to come home um, from, but say, Cork, and they live in, let's say they live in Navin, and their daughter and sons in Cork, are you saying Cork? Um, would they be able to go up for Christmas dinner? Um, at least for even three or four hours. That's that's all a parent would want. Um. But the government are holding it in front of them, saying, oh, we're not, you know, we're taking about it again. It's just kind of, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit scummy, if you may ask me. Um, because, again, no matter the situation the country's in, I think at Christmas, you know, without the effort, that's, you know, businesses are basically broke their backs for the government, to listen to the government. Um, and the same with people. People have lost lots and lots of time and lots and lots of, a lot of people have lost their lives over hospital appointments being cancelled. Like, I could go on. I really could go on, but I don't want to go on. Because there's an untold amount of damage that OT are not covering. Um, that uh, the Irish Journal are not covering. Uh, BB, you know, all the main news channels are not covering. Because they don't want to. Simple as that. They don't want it's not, they're not interested. Not interested. But, again, this is the thing. And, again, I know majority of people are worried. And I use the word worried. Because, again, the work clarity, the work to know... If their son or daughter can come from Dublin, say down the cabin for Christmas dinner for a day or two, come for Christmas dinner, you know, because again, the, some of them haven't been at the house for the last year. It's about you know, again, the government, because I bet you any money, Leo and Simon and Harris, you know, the rest of them, the whole cronies, you know, where they went golf get, you know, a bit again, this is probably going to happen again. They'll probably all go and have a Christmas dinner in Dal Aaron, and you and I have to pay for it, and it'll be a big bill for the taxpayer. Um, and there'd be nothing done about it. You know, I guess, again, Leo got off with more of, you know, and leaking the government document. Um, and nothing was done about it. Nothing's been said about it. He, would, he, would, he refused to assign the words. Um, it's a great country. Um, because, again, if they did it, there'd be nothing done about it. Same with Phil Hogan when he's fallen to his ear. Nothing was there. The media never talked about it. Where, where's OT talking about it? Because, again, if there was anybody else to be up in arms, they'd be like, kill him, kill him. Um, that's the truth. The media would be like, if that was an only Irish citizen, a hard-working Irish citizen, not his phone to his boss or to his dying mother in hospital. Because again, this country lady doesn't have a heart. Um, and then when there's a TD on the phone, it wouldn't do anything. Simple as that. The OT wouldn't even look at it. Um, great country, you know. Um, like, you know, it's just, I think it's just scummy. It might just say straight. Never did the rest of that. I think it's just scummy. Um, you know, holding Christmas and thought it was basically holding us hostage. Um, because again, you know, everybody's been through hard times. I'm sure everybody at one stage of this lockdown and everything has been depressed once and has felt very upset and not well and not themselves, if that makes any sense. Um, and Christmas is about celebrating Christ, the birth of Christ, obviously, religious uh, festival, going to mass, you know, Christmas carols, you know, joy. It's about joy. It's about hope. It's about positivity. Um, and it's about, and most of all, it's about having the family and, you know, having Christmas dinner and, you know, talking with you, you're meeting with your family. Um, you know, because again, you know, it's very seldom we we take the time to sit down together as a, you know, as a family, as a, you know, as our own families. We never take the time nowadays. Years ago, we used to have loads of time. But nowadays, it's all go, 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 move, 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 this, that, you know. Um, you know, we never take the time to sit down and, you know, talk to our father, to our mother. <laughs> To our stepdad, to you know, our uncle, our grandmother, you know, because again, that's what Christmas is all about. Um, and I just take an effort in the government, you know, again, we could say whatever you want about them, but at least, you know, the one thing they should do, because again, I'm sure people will put up with it if their businesses 
are going to remain closed during Christmas because again that's where the majority of the businesses make their money. Um, at Christmas, toy shops, things like that, they make the money at Christmas. It makes sense. Um, busy time of the year, loads of people buying big boosts in the economy too for local businesses. Um, and it's only fair. It's only fair because again the government haven't took a pay cut or anything like that. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, it's only fair. And I hate the way they're holding us hostage with Christmas.